Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Fascist Belgium here in Victoria 2 the historical project mod. The game is coming to an end and uh, we are sort of just waiting around really. Our truce with the Dutch lasts for another four years so that's something we are going to have to wait a bit for. Uh, but I definitely intend to fully annex those guys. Smallpox. Aww. That's fine. Well, it's not fine, but it is it is a fact of life. Let's see if we can ally the British here. Please get those relations a bit up. So, well, while my primary goal will always be to just annihilate the Dutch, uh, I wouldn't mind another war against the French. They are so weak, it would be a shame to not use their weakness. Treaty of DC. Oh, really? So the war finally ended. Well, yeah, we have seen this before. Treaty of DC. We lost the war. So they have to release New England, Texas, Rio Grande, and the California Republic. And they're allied to me for some reason? Uh, I don't know why these people are allied to me. That's weird. Let's not do that because... <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> that's just stupid. I don't want to get into a horse with the United States just because the game by default allied these people to me. Not like that. It's not like that surrender of theirs was my doing. Ottoman conquest of Thessaly, really. The Ottomans are trying to retake their lost glory. Hopefully the Italians will swoop in and help them out. Yep, they've already swooped in. Heavy armor. Yeah, let's just go all, uh, all in on this stuff. Let's make sure we get uh, complete military technology. So that whoever desi decides to oppose us, it will be wrecked. In rectum. Right, where was those units recruited? Uh, well, let's wait a bit, I guess. Just in case some of them are getting recruited over in... Uh, yep, some of them are indeed going to be recruited here. Uh, so that we'll have to... So yeah, we're gonna wait with transporting our units. We have the No More War modifier again, so... There's not anything really to do right now. Other than sparing people. And waiting for Infamy to take down. So let's get that away. There we go. So now this part of Asia is pretty much glorious. United Kingdom. Uh, this was not our intent. It really wasn't, though. They have been outraged. Shit. Oh well, not that gator it gives them a castle belly, but I've got Germany on my side. I do not fear. Right? Yeah, we still have Germany. Heck, they haven't even broken their alliance with the British. Lil oh wait, they don't get castle belly? Huh, okay. Although the British have lost their course here in Ireland. Irish oppression... <laughs> uh, funny. They've got their own modifier. How cute. Oh. Let's go sphere Uruguay. Create that opinion. There we are. Cordial. Ha! Now the Americans want an alliance. Oh, fuck you. Go away, America. Ah, yes. We can purge. Let's purge. This probably sucks, though, because we're going to kill off a bunch of our own people, but it will have to be done. Purge. In this hour, I I am responsible for the fate of Bel of the Belgian people, and thereby I become the supreme judge of the Belgian people. I have ordered, I have I have the order to shoot the ringleaders in this treason. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now we just need to wait for the law change modifier to go away, and then we can enable the totalitarian system. Which will gain us all of these things, which will give us extra education efficiency, suppression points, less militancy, less pop consciousness, less political awareness, and a bunch less research points, but, you know, at least we will have stability. Alright, that pissed off some people, so let's go ahead and, I don't know, give them some stuff to make them a bit happier. Let's give them... Oh, I don't know. Acceptable safety things, I guess? We can afford to pay for the various upgrades. Damn it! Keep giving me these things. I don't want it. Let them come. Yep, they're not gonna come. 
because they fear Germany. Damn it, people, stop working in these ones and go work in the telephone factories. Uh, these guys have a decent amount of uh, clerks at this point. Friesland could do with some clerks though, although we need workers here first. Spinula, go back to that stuff. Yeah, all of this looks good. Ooh, the Olympic Games happen in our capital and we gain mad prestige for it. Good, now we are number five in the world. Passing up Japan again. Good stuff. The Second Great War. Well, that escalated. What the fuck is this about? Humiliate Belgium. Really? Dude, I clicked an event, okay? That does not give you an excuse to just invade my face. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Ugh. Ay, 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 put it on. Why can we not be friends? Destroy the French together? There is much to be earned in friendship with Belgium. Does not look like he is too into that though. Yeah, tax the rich people. Fuck the rich. <sighs> okay, uh, Blitzkrieg it is then. Blitzkrieg it is. Because what else can there be? Alright, this is going to be interesting. Uh, good thing the Austro-Hungarians stayed out of this. So I guess it's good that the British became war leader then. Because so you're going over here. You got, of course we don't have a defensive general. Well, he's still going to be attacking me. Which should still uh, result in slaughter. Oh, so of course you're my puppet. I thought you would have access by default. Alright, I guess we do need to mobilize then, because my armies will be awfully unbalanced if uh, that's not the case. Yeah, look at those slaughters on my side. That's not good. Everyone run down here, please. Before I die. Germany, don't take Paris. Help me. You moron. Wait, we want something somewhere? Okay. Germany, can you please focus on Russia? Because that's sort of your duty. I can deal with France. Don't worry about it. Ooh, we actually got Spain in on the fun. Right, let's go... Let's see, what kind of navy does the British have? Like, a lot of navy. Oh, I'm still going to see if I can kill part of it. Because my navy is also pretty dank meme. Not going to lie. Alright, so that that worked. Yeah the, the, yeah, the Germans are just swarming. Man, this is madness. Madness, they say. Okay, so we're already just tearing them up. So I think we should win this. Uh, the only problem is that Britain is the war leader. Meaning that it will be quite difficult to defeat. Or to convince him that we should get peace. But we should be able to rather easily knock out all of these other guys. Right, here's my infantry. Please gather up and join my armies. Okay, let's start heading south. You can go there, I guess. And then we will continue marching. Who is attacking here? Wait, we still are we still gassing each other? I thought we would have had gas defense at this point. Well, that does not look, look like it's the case. Okay. Yeah, so France is going to get destroyed. Uh, the Italians, that's going to be a bit of an issue. And the Russians, that's probably the biggest issue of all. We might have to divert troops to the east at some point. After I've dealt with the uh, the British and the... Uh, well, not the British. Uh, after I've dealt with the, uh, the French, I guess. Oh god, attacking right here. Not so... Well, we did win, but that was a hard-fought battle. So yeah, the British are just going to be able to wreck us in the colonies. That's There's no question about that. The Russians too. And yeah, so all of Africa will probably have to fall. 
Question is, will we be able to get 100% war score just through destruction on the mainland? I do hope we will. I do hope we will. Ha! The British want peace already. Yeah, well, if that's the case, then I'm going to start uh, chipping in some war goals here. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, consume a little bit of France. What do you guys say? Now, the question, of course, becomes what parts of France do we want to eat? What what part of the French do we want to consume here? I'm not sure. I really just want to go for the things that give me the best borders. Uh, I want Champagne. That's kind of a no-brainer. The question is, do we then go for Normandy or do we go for Franche Comte? problem about this region, of course, being that I'll effectively block off Germany from France. But I do believe it will be the prettiest borders. Hmm. If Luxembourg didn't have cores here, I probably would have just released them. Uh, just so that I could get the optimum borders here. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Since you cannot just sell provinces in this game, which is something that is really lame. I wish I could sell Luxembourg to the Germans. That is if I take this region. I don't know. Take this. So that would be like this would be the borders then. Uh, compared to like... Oh, well, we could keep snaking along the coastline here. I really do not know. It's not, it's not going to be super beautiful regardless of what we do. But I do feel champagne... Well, let's just start with champagne. I don't even know if we can take any more than one war goal. Free allied course. Ah, huh. That would be funny. But it's gonna cost me infamy though. I'm not gonna waste infamy on that. Now, let's uh, go, uh, start by asking for... Oh, that's super cheap. Wow. Okay. So we'll start by asking for that. And then we will consider taking this region as well. We will have to consider indeed. In front, shit, the uh, Italians are kicking the uh, Spanish around down there. Well, you will need to send support troops. So who's attacking who here? Ah, the Italians are attacking. Ha ha ha! L O L, nice meme, dude. The meme being your death. Oh, okay, so wait, what? Oh, wait. Uh, okay, so he sent in reinforcements. And then... I don't even know. Well, the, f the important part is that the Italians are dying. As long as that's the case, I am happy. So who's attacking here? The Italians are. Well, I will... Uh, ooh. Yeah, they're attacking here as well. Man, the Italians are stupid. <laughs> Lel. Yeah, we have max war score at this point from occupations. Uh, or from battles, I mean. So that's not going to be increased at all. But no, I think we got this. I wonder if the British would give up already. They would actually. So let's keep adding war goals. Um, I just wonder how apeshit do we desire to go? How apeshit indeed. Because we could maybe even go for both Franche Comte and Normandy. And just create the optimal state of Greater Belgium. I don't know, though, it's not gonna be super pretty. But... It would bring us strength. Sadly, there's no, like, Normandy course, so there's no potential of releasing it if I change my mind. Hmm, who else is in this war? Who can we potentially take some land from? I don't really care that much about colonies. Even if I wouldn't mind taking, like, Rift Valley and these regions. It's just too stressed, though. No, I think we're just going to forge Greater Belgium. Even if I sort of said we weren't going to do that, I guess that's our destiny at this point. So let's ask for this one. And then I guess we'll do Normandy. That would definitely make us strong F. Which would be good. Right, but we need to keep occupying though, because that's really how we're going to gain war score from at this point. The only way really. What's going on here? More suicidal uh, Italians. I'm okay with this, of course. Let's get in there and support. Kill them off. All 
right, keep working. Oh, there's another suicidal Italian army. Let's go grant them their wishes. Uh, so we got some armed forces over here. How's the Russian campaign going? Yeah, the Eastern Front is kind of even, but as long as we keep pushing in France, the Allied forces will give up to the fascist glory of our face. Crap, here are we the ones attacking. Well, this is not good then. Four more men into the problem until it solves itself. Uh, such is the motto of the glorious fascist Belgian army. Indeed it is! Go down to Toulon. We lost. Oh yeah, we lost. Yeah, that makes sense. But the colonies don't matter. Oh, here comes the French Revolution. The reactionaries. Really now? They would accept this as well. Uh, we could throw dismantle, but mm, I just doubt the value in that. Yeah, like, no, I did not win. Okay, so we can only dismantle the. Oh yeah, that makes sense because uh, well, does it though? How expensive is that? It's only twenty-one, so we could potentially destroy the Russian Empire, but I don't necessarily see why I would want to do that. <sighs> I just doubt how much gain there would be in that. Well, we could always just add it and just not enforce it. Although I think we lose prestige by doing that, so I'm not entirely sure. Hmm, I'm so torn on whether or not to take Normandy. Because I really do feel our borders will be the prettiest if we just leave it like this. Normandy is such a good province, mine gut! Oh, I wish I could give it to Brittany or something, that, that would be more optimal feed Brittany and forge the greater British Empire. Well, not British. What would be the word for that? I don't know. Uh, so many opportunities. So hilarious that all of this started just because the Russians were like, herper derp derp let us invade Belgium. Because, uh, I, yeah, I think that was off screen that I clicked the... I've, I've started to become a bit more, um, you know, Few fucks are given when those diplomatic incident events pop up, so I just keep clicking the ones that gave me prestige. And for once, one actually ended up uh, giving me a war. Hmm. Well, I guess we could dismantle the Russian Empire. Or actually, could we dismantle the Italian Empire? Hmm. Because that's some colonial holdings I would not mind. That actually sounds like a much better idea to me. Yes. Yes, indeed. We can get... Hmm. I say we'll run off and do that. Dismantle nation. So we'll dismantle the Italians and the Russians will be left alone. Uh, if we achieve... Oh my god! Well, that's sort of a motivation in itself. Look at that prestige gain. Yeah, let's add that. And there, that gives us that modifier. So hopefully the British will be like, yeah, you can kill the Italians, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, hopefully. So now I'm sort of ready to peace out. I don't think we're going to take Normandy. I think the borders will not be very pretty if we do. Uh, so let's not do that. Let's go and peace out instead. Ah, oh, shit, now they won't accept. Well, off to war we are then. Off to war we are. Hmm, can get Shadow of War? I think we'll do that. Timor has like a oh, fuck's sake. Timor, I don't. <laughs> oh wow, really, really. Very well then. The Great War continues. Surely you will give up now. No. Well, off to war it is. Victory or death. Oh god, we are actually losing though. Okay, so yeah, I tried to fight the British in terms of navy. That did not work. Fucking run away. Thank you very much. Ugh. Okay, so that sucks. Oh well, fix that shit up. <sighs> At least the campaign in Italy is going well. Right, let's rush down here. Acquire all of them clays. And uh, hopefully they... Oh my god, look at the money. Well... No social services or administration or anything. And tariffs through the roof. I'm not gonna run some shitty economy that doesn't pay for war. 
We are fascist Belgium after all. Fascist Belgium does not care for your... The, you know, the people. It's only war. We must acquire a glorious Belgian Lebensraum. It is our destiny as the great Belgian nation. The great Belgian nation? The great Belgian nation. I have been thinking, you know, speaking of the Lebensraum, we do have some infamy and we could get another state because I've been looking over the territories here and while Normandy would look a bit silly, we could take Bourgogne. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that awfully, but uh, that would not necessarily be that bad. It would give us sort of a Burgundy look, right? Because I'm pretty sure this is Bourgogne is basically Burgundy in French. So that's something we could do. Uh, and I think we should do that. We need to use this opportunity to add glorious clay. So let's go ahead and acquire states and do Burgong as well. Uh, because, yeah, we just need to get a 100% war score at this point, it seems like, in order for the British to give up. Which sucks, of course, but what are you gonna do? Alright, let's kill off these British navies at least. Also, it seems like a big part of the reason why we're not getting the war here is the fact that... Uh, it's the, uh, the defender occupations over in uh, Italy, or in, um, well, I guess, sort of Italy. Well, not Italy. In Belgian Africa. Uh, so I guess we need to get them taken out. So yeah, once we're done with Italy here, we're going to start shipping troops down. Because it seems like the British did just refuse to give up. Would not accept. Oh, here we go. The Germans are joining the fun. Acquire Lithuania. Well, have fun. Maybe, they, maybe that's just how the game is designed. You're not supposed to peace out until you have 100% war score. Oh, Bulgaria is in the war? Okay. Well, it looks like the Germans here are marching uh, down to Morocco. That's good. So we dealt a blow to them there. So yeah, we're going to start shipping troops over to... Uh... Oh god, so many of our transport have died. Let's see, can we take Corsica? Yeah, there's not a lot of armies there. Oh god, that's an unbalanced army if I ever saw one. It's gonna take forever to occupy the place if that's the case. Surely there must be some artillery and stuff like here. Yeah, here we go. Here's a, here's a better army. And oh, of course, once yeah, mm, yeah, it's not very good at the whole army balancing thing. Put that shit in half. That that will have to do it. And onwards to Corsica we are. The Eastern Front, yeah, the Germans are just going mental here. Ain't no Russian winter gonna stop them. Seriously though, that's funny how they just don't give a shit in this game. Defend against Gastak, I guess that's good. Hopefully the enemies don't have that ability. Right, so that'll take over Corsica. Let's pick up the rest of the army, I guess, and take Sardinia. Yeah, they don't have any troops here, so this should be easy enough. No, Franz, I will not piece you out separately. You are a big reason that I gained war score here, so I will not let that go. Moralism, sure, sure. Our troops! More troops must be pushed over. Onto the boats. Oh god, Ooh, it's gonna be a huge battle down here. And of course the British are blockading me there, that sucks. Oh, oh they didn't actually go for the attack there, well... Well, actually, let's not bother with that then. Let's instead go push into Africa here. Retake our land and hopefully that'll do the trick. Alright, there we go. Now we have full military technology. Let's get limited access roads. Ooh, economy. Economy, why? Oh god, subsidies. Yeah. Guess we unsubsidize our factories a bit then. Yeah, this war needs to end quick. This cannot go on. This is too harsh fight me. Alright, little army, go down there. I know we're just gonna be roaming through the desert here, but that's fine. Kill that Italian navy. Actually, why am I roaming down to the desert? Let's go over here instead. Well, I guess some armies need to go south there to go retake our colonial holdings. So I do believe that's a big part of why this war is going on forever. Damn it, stop locating. What? Aousa? Are you no longer in my sphere? No, oh, you're not. Well, you're a satellite, so I don't give a shit. Kill them. Kill them all. 
I guess maybe we should gain some naval tech, but whatever. Oh shit, what was that? Did you guys see that? Ooh, demands of war, not good. Are you at war with someone else now? Uh, I don't see anything. I don't know what that was all about. Shouldn't matter though. 92% war score. Come on, let's get this over with. Ooh, light chips, those we can kill. Yeah, this should be doable. Kill that stuff. Stop them from blockading my stuff. You can go to Sardinia. In preparation. Oh god, that's a big Italian navy. Let's go hide. <laughs> I do not feel like fighting that. Alright, the Germans are taking some of British Africa over here. Doesn't look like they're really going to succeed though. We are pushing down the Nile. So at least we are achieving something there. Yeah, but let's focus on retaking our own lands. So work on that shit. You can push, continue pushing on. Oh, South Africa has arrived. Shit. Yeah, we need to use our navy to ship troops over, I think. Porta Prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, there's nothing we can do about Porta Prince. Oh god, that's a scary ass navy. Yeah, let's just see if we can sneak some troops over without that navy doing anything to us. Oh god, unbalanced bullshit. Actually, that wasn't too unbalanced, so never mind. You get a pass. Uh, I guess we can go occupy Bulgaria. There, because they're technically in the war. Yugoslavia. I wanna. Oh, you're in. We're allied to you, but you just don't want to join the war for some reason. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, France. No. Go away. Yeah, the Austro-Hungarians here are also fighting, of course. I guess they don't get much to do now then. Yeah, I didn't know they have course on this. Oh yeah, of course they keep their course on this stuff. That makes sense. That makes sense. I don't know, let's sneak over here. See if we can sneak past them. Looks like we can. Keep pushing. Let's land some shit here. Maybe we can try and get enough troops over here to kill that, this South African army. Hopefully. Pick some troops up. Right, retake the lands. Oh, there we go, 100%. Very nice. Propose peace. They would not accept. What? Oh, Germany wants to dismantle the Russians. That's fine. Uh, and they, what? <laughs> dismantle constructions in, yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, this is perfect actually. So the Germans will gain Lithuania, they'll cut down the Russians and just force them to dismantle their empire. I will destroy the Italian Empire, and I will gain glorious Belgian Lebensraum from the French. And that will be the war. Proceed. Oof, that was brutal indeed. Uh, yeah, everyone, go home, demobilize. There it is, the glorious Belgian Empire. Now we really only need Amsterdam, and... Uh, the whole Holland region, even if these two regions are technically not Holland, but whatever. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I can be a fan of these borders. They, these are fine. These are fine indeed. Fan is fan. Alright, so hopefully now I wish you luck, Austria-Hungary, in destroying Italy. Bolivia and Paraguay. Sure, sure, we can continue influencing these guys. Man, that was a good war. Good on me for... Uh, clicking those buttons and uh, getting the uh, Russians pissed off. They surely will not threaten me after this. Uh, yeah. Protected, but wait. Oh. Wrong nation. <laughs> wrong Guai. This is the one I want. There we go. Cordial. Very nice. Uh, we could play get the people with some stuff. I guess we'll do that. Let's... Um I guess we'll give them a better minimum wage. I'll stop them from being so angry. Ooh, what is this? Ah, the totalitarian system. Let's do that. There it is. We must finish once and for all with the neutrality of chess. What? 
We must condemn once and for all the formula chess for the sake of chess, like the formula art for art's sake. We must organize shock brigades of chess players and begin immediate realization of a five-year plan for chess. What is it talking about chess? <laughs> Our nation took all the necessary steps and the framework for a new kind of political system, a political system in which the state holds to total authority over the society and seeks to control all aspects of public and private life, wherever possible. We must make all this official, tie the loose ends and establish absolute control over society. So there we are, now we have totalitarianism, which reduces our research points, but it also reduces political awareness, literacy impact on consciousness, and overall reduces militancy in consciousness and gives us all of the suppression points. So fuck all of this. Oh, can't quite do it, but oh well. Uh, good. Uh, what is this? Incident in Picardy. What? Do we have tension? No, we don't. Well, let the world want, think what it likes, I guess. Or not. Let's actually not do that. I have no need for this. Ah yes, the Treaty of St. Petersburg. We have lost the war. There it is. Ukraine, Belarus, Latvia, Estonia, Mold Moldova, Caucasia, Chechnya, Dagestan, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Georgia. Ooh, there might be some wars here. Yeah, people are competing over claims. Ooh, yeah. That's fine though. The, the Caucasus can go up in flames for all I care. <laughs> Who got the spheres? Uh, okay, I got these three and I got Ukraine, which is probably the most important one. So let's keep influencing them, make sure the Germans don't get any ideas, even if it would make more sense for them to have it. Okay, so we have just demolished the Russian Empire. Well, technically the Germans did that, but that's fine. So that releases Kamchatka. Is that a Russian? Yeah, it's a Russian, uh, Russian state. That's fine though, as long as it's not directly under Russia. Buryatia is a Mongol state who accepts Russian. Good for them, I guess, because there's not a lot of Mongols here left. Oh, they didn't gain all their claims. That's sad. Tanutuva. I think that already existed though. Yeah, it's a Qing, uh, Qing, Qing satellite. Afghanistan is back to their former strength. Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan. The stunts are free. For some reason this is not, so that's a bit weird, but whatever. Officially recognized. Yeah, now this makes sense, I guess. So yeah, fuck you, Russia. Officially recognized Caucasia. Officially recognized Chechnya. Officially recognized Dagestan. And that'll be that. And uh, now we need to figure out a way to get our troops home. I guess they're all exiled, so we can just start marching them home. These units can stay in Africa, I guess. It's not a big deal. And this unit needs to get on the boat. Go home. Oh man. Oh man, look at that income. Yeah, let's re-go to peace, peace stuff now. So, let's stop tariffing. Let's actually go into the minus. Yeah, look at that. Stop taxing people. Oh wow, we can just completely abolish taxes. Whoa, we took a lot of loans though. I, I pay them. Pay them. Oh, oh, that vanished quickly. Yeah, war indemnities. That's gonna be a lot of money. Let us subsidize. Open all. Subsidize all. Upgrade stuff. Well, I guess we'll wait a bit until we have some cash again. The war is over. Long live Belgium. Indeed. Someone is tampering. Oh, really? Well, that was fast. Yeah, I assume we're gonna have a bit of conflict here. Finland. I wouldn't mind sparing you. Yeah, we're friendly, so we'll get some influence going. Should I ally you? Hey, Germany, we did it! Increase relations, don't, don't turn on me now. So yeah, Greater Belgium is almost a reality. We only need to finish off the Low Countries, and the Greater Belgian destiny will be done. Oh man, we can remove nations. Oh god, well, I don't want to kick out the Germans. I see no real reason to fuck about with them. So, I don't know, decrease Russia, we can't, oh, because they're already hostile, well, kick out Italy then, I guess, Uzbekistan, kick out you, who else, 
Yeah, all of the stuns. <sighs> uh, decrease... Yeah, I just don't want to have the pop-up. I don't care for it. And I don't want to mess around with Germany over here. There's no way I'm going to win. Who left? Dagestan, okay. Ah, so Dagestan becomes... Ooh, okay, I wouldn't mind adding them, since they are not actually sphered by the Germans. I guess that makes sense. How is Trans Transcaucasia? Wait. Where did Armenia go? And Georgia? What happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. You do whatever. I'll just... Ah, oh, I can't plop them back? Well, I want them back though, so let's work on that. Oh. We're not making as much money as I thought. Well, taxes then. I'll do the trick. So what is this? Uh, transfer of the Russian colonies. Russian balut is that? No, not really. Because that would be horrendous in terms of borders. We do not wish any more colonies. Although actually, let's take it and we'll just release it. Yeah. We will accept. And immediately kick them out again. Because I don't care for that. So, where are you? Um, what the fuck is it called again? Kalat. There it is. Okay, there's good. So now Kalat is a thing. It's under our fascist leadership, of course, but that is fine. Alright, so the Germans got a... they got the United Baltic Provinces. German Landtag, really? Are you German? You are? Huh. Interesting. I guess, yeah, this makes sense, because this is the... this is what the Germans historically wanted. They wanted to establish, like, Germanic uh, principalities up here. Because there is a significant... well, there was historically, anyways, a significant German minority. Oh, I saw some Germans. Nope, that's Ash Ashkenazi. There you go, 7% North German. So, they exist around, so... It's not too... well, it's unreasonable, but it's not completely out of the blue. The Ukraine... oh man, oh man, this was good. Well, let's see what the Italians are going to be up to. Although I think we're going to have some fun with that in the next episode. So yeah, now really the only thing left on the agenda is the annexation of um, the Netherlands. So now we are really en entering the endgame here. Where the glory of Belgium is uh, ready to be finished. So, yeah, we still have a truce, but that's going to go away. Of course, we need to get rid of a lot of infamy before that becomes a reality. But there are many nations that we can release, so I'm not too worried. Uh, we will surely be able to get that. Alright, thanks so much for watching this episode of the Belgium Campaign, and until next time, bye!